So you've bought some 3D models for your game, but the models aren't quite the right shape, or maybe the colors don't quite match your theme. What do you do? Do you go back to the asset store and spend some more money? Well, I might have another way for you, and might's the keyword, but in this video, I'm gonna be looking at how to modify assets that you bought at an asset store by importing them into Blender, making some modifications, and sending them back to Unity to better match the vision for your game. If that sounds interesting, let's get started. So what you can see on my screen is a demo scene from a free asset on the Unity Asset Store. I'll make sure to include a link in the description below. So what I want to do is find a model that we can export to Blender and modify. Digging through the folders, I can find a prefab of a vase that I want to tweak. I'll drag a copy of that into the scene for reference when we make changes later in the video. I won't be modifying the prefab, but rather I need to find the model used in the prefab, and that's located in the Models folder. With the model found, I'm going to switch over to Blender, and then go to the File menu, Import, FBX, and then navigate to the Unity project. Once I've found the Unity project, I'm going to find the FBX file for the vase model. Now that the file is loaded, it can be edited just like any other model in Blender. For this model, I just want to adjust the shape. Maybe I'll modify the handles a little bit, and maybe I'll make the mouth of the vase a little bit bigger. Like so. With this done, the model is ready to be exported back into the Unity project. In Unity, the new model can be dropped into the scene view, and we can clearly see that we've made some changes to the model and it's different than the original vase. With that done, the materials can be reassigned, and you need to make sure to do it identically to the original model. In the case of the asset I chose, there's just one material. In your case, there might be multiple materials to reassign. So make sure to have the correct number of slots and assign the materials in the correct order. Dragging the material onto the modified model, and voila! The colors are the same as the original model, we just tweaked the shape a little bit. If you want to make more significant changes, such as adding geometry to the mesh, that can work, but it is possible for the materials in Unity to get messed up. Splitting faces should result in the new faces sharing the same material and the same or similar UV coordinates. But if too much has changed, significant work to retexture the model may be needed. I would encourage you to experiment and always make copies of the models so you don't write over or somehow destroy past work. Let's go one step further. In the case of the asset pack that I've chosen, all the prefabs use a single color palette for their textures. If you don't know what a color palette is or how to create one, I'll be doing a future video on low poly models and color palettes, so stay tuned for that. Using color palettes makes it easy to change the colors of the model. This can be done by editing the actual texture in a program like GIMP or Photoshop. But for this video, I want to show you how to move the UV coordinates in Blender to select a different color on the palette. The color palette can be found in the albedo channel of the material. This is the texture we'll open up in Blender to adjust the UV coordinates. So take note of the texture's location in the project. Back in Blender, I'll open a new window of type UV Image Editor. In that window, I'll open the color palette file. Then selecting the vase, I'll go into edit mode by pressing tab. If I zoom in and look closely, I can see the faces of the vase in the UV plane superimposed on the color palette texture. All I need to do is select the faces and move them to a different color. In my case, I'm just going to shift the color of the top of the vase from yellow to purple. With that done, I can export the model to Unity to see the changes. I'll then drag the model into the scene view and assign the material just like I did before. I now have two models with the same modified shape, but with different colors. That's pretty easy and pretty helpful when working with third-party assets. So there you go, a couple ways to adjust assets that you find on an asset store. If you found this useful or helpful, please think about hitting that like or subscribe buttons. If you want to go even further in supporting the channel, check out the links to my Discord and Patreon page in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.